How's everybody doing? <coughs> I apologize. I apologize. I apologize for getting to you now to discuss um, autism and the mystery behind autism. Uh, please make sure you give your likes and subscribe. You know, I don't normally do that. I, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it does mean something, but not really. Um, but uh, this is a special video because um, I've always was interested in why autism exists. And doing this video right here at the beautiful campus of the University of Alabama, very tranquil, very beautiful, uh, is symbolic of the tranquil and quiet world of autism. Many doctors, medical scientists, and researchers, and those that are just naturally curious, in addition to families that have been affected by having one family member or so have the condition of autism. Now, uh, let's be clear, autism is not a disease, it's not a syndrome, it's not a condition, nor is it an anomaly. The autism, and there are many different types of autism, and the, the ones that play children are quite specific, although we do also offer a tangible explanation as to how it can also affect adults. There are different grades and degrees of autism. Uh, and a lot has been written and you know researched about autism, all particular types of autism. And that also includes uh, mentally challenged individuals. And that also falls in a category as well, which could include the affliction of the physical body, but not inherently always is this the case particularly when we're dealing with different types and grades of autism. Now, I did do some videos uh, going back maybe a few months ago uh, describing the different bodies of man. And man has developed over his uh, evolutionary journey advancement in knowledge and both in intellect and in spirit. Uh, going back from the Neanderthal man to the cro man to the different subsequent tribes that has led to the advancement and development of the modernized man today. But well, one thing that uh, anthropologists and sociologists never tell us and have never enlightened us about is the actual progressive development of man's spiritual nature. It's always been the physical aspect and the physical nature of man. Man at one time was plant-like and from plant-like he moved to animal and from animal he moved to human, and from human, we become gods, or we reach godity. But it's not a smooth journey. There are clicks and clanks in between, and there may be pathological conditions that may plague each evolutionary step in man's journey back to godity. Autism award us kind of like a, a, a wrench or a monkey foot in the evolutionary process of mankind. This is something that is not really talked about in the medical community, in the medical science, and it's certainly not understood by the families that are affected by uh, having a family member or so afflicted with autism. Now, it is not a straight answer to explain autism, but if you hear what I have to say, 
and maybe run it across other shamans because I'm discussing the topic not as an astrologer but as a shaman because it is a spiritually based condition which is why medical scientists cannot find the cure for it or even find out why it even exists now mankind has seven bodies uh, you've heard me talk about it mention it and we're dealing with the ethereal body the casual body the etheric double the astral body the emotional body the mental body and eventually the physical body when we're dealing with different grades of autism we are dealing with the affliction or impairment of one of these seven bodies and each of these bodies develops a different type of autism if you have uh, a child that is like a vegetable that might as well be a plant that has no consciousness, doesn't talk, doesn't speak, doesn't laugh. You can't do anything for the child. The child, you have to change the child's diaper. The child has to have diapers. Uh, it's like a vegetable. Then we're dealing with a type of autism plaguing that child that deals with the absence of what we call the entrapment of the vital body. Now, to understand that kind of autism, we have to make a, 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 an analogy comparable to the plants. The plants only possess a vital body, and their consciousness is that of the sleep state, unconsciousness. Well, it's no different than a child that has the same type of autism where he doesn't speak, he's silent, but he has cognition, but it is internalized. We can say that that child has a consciousness that's very plant-like because the vital body of that child has been uh, trapped in between dimensions. Now, if you're going to have seven bodies, the physical earth is just one dimension. It is the densest. It is crystallized form. But it's not the only body that mankind has. But it is the one that we can see. But there are six other bodies. You cannot be a complete holistic human being without these other bodies. And they didn't develop in mankind overnight. It took hundreds of millions of years of, of an evolutionary process for men to reach a certain level of cognition, development, and advancement that embraces the intellectual and the spiritual faculties, which, man, which makes man a complete holistic creature. Three-dimensional. We call this in the occult three-fold body. You have mankind and his anthropological past that only had a two-dimensional body. And these were the types of humans that lacked empathy, that lacked emotional, demonstrative empathy. And these, uh, if you remember the movie The Bad Seed, where the little girl was a ruthless killer and had no empathy. If you remember that movie from the 1920s, The Bad Seed, that's the type of autism where the child was missing one of those bodies that awarded emotional empathy. That would be the emotional body. It's a different grade of autism that made this young girl a killer. It was based on the real story. So we have different grades of autism that can produce some of the most horrific um, natural killers within the collective. Of course, we're speaking of a worst case scenario. Fortunately, we know enough and we have evolved enough 
that this is no longer a reality, thank God. A lot of, of attention has been brought on the subject. But many scientists used to believe that autism was the same. And it's not the same. Every kind of human affliction through these bodies is going to produce a different type of autism. And it's not always negative. Uh, an example is uh, there was a uh, there's a movie by Bruce Willis uh, called um, with a little child that was psychic. I see dead people. That's a form of autism. If you if you watch the movie, the horror movie with Barbara Hershey, Insidious, Part One and Two, where the demon takes the child and has him in a cage, trapped in a dimension, and the boy falls into a coma. That's a form of autism. The child's spirit is trapped in a dimension by an entity that will not release it. If you watch the movie the Insidious 1 and 2, they're telling you the different what really happens in autism when it comes to children. It might sound far-fetched, it might sound real science fiction, but it's not. It's real. And that's just one drop in the bucket of an example of autism. Autism can be induced by all kinds of traumas. You have um, children who are six years old, seven years old, who are geniuses with the, the show Young Sheldon. Young Sheldon, that little boy has a form of autism, which is making him too smart for his own development at his age. Autism can work forward or it can go degenerative. Okay? That's a form of autism. Uh, artificial intelligence, AI, where you have children or even teenagers that are just geniuses. Geniuses. And there's no explanation to their genius and their intellectual acumen. Understand that this is another form of autism. Autism doesn't always have to be negative. It doesn't always have to be a, a condition that can award tragedy and sorrow. It can also be a, a point of advancement. Uh, many people may believe that these types of souls, talking as an example of one aspect of autism, which deals with the intellectual body versus the emotional body, because they're two distinct different bodies, and whatever anomalies or conditions may occur within these two distinct different bodies are going to produce two distinct kinds of autism. So understand that autism, uh, as complex and as uh, variable as it is, does have an answer. There is an explanation. But it's not a scientific explanation. Now, that doesn't mean, because the physical body is the last body out of the seven, sure, there's some autism that can be connected to the physical body, that can be cured, that can be identified, and it can be corrected. But that's not the same when we're dealing with the other bodies that are far more complex than the physical body. And it is here where we have the contrary. Uh, we still have not reached a level of union between science and spirituality. Until this marriage becomes unionized, hopefully here in the Aquarian Age, we're not going to get the full picture and therefore the final solution to the condition of autism, especially in children. I will be starting this series and I will be putting it on Patreon where I will go into graphic details about the different categories and grades of autism. I'm not going to put it on the public YouTube because it will cause controversy. And unless this is a subject dear to you, then you will learn about it and read about it when you join Patreon. It's not to make money off of it or to be politically um, strategic in any way. 
It's just that it's such a very emotional and touching, controversial and controversial subject that it is best that we uh, concentralize it in one vehicle platform where then maybe later we can re-put it back on YouTube and give a further testimony through examples, uh, uh, maybe human testimonies, uh, validations that can confirm through other shamans and other people that are doing the same research as I am about its validity. Uh, so this is, we are on our infancy stage and trying to grapple with, with a final solution concerning autism. And this is what I wanted to say. This is why it's not a long video because the real cross of the video will be done when we do the specific uh, symptomatology of autism. Okay? Guys, thank you. Please donate. Please give. 347-485-6258, which is Zelly. And also Cash App. Fernando. F-E-R-N-A, number five, and D-O. Help me bring down this $101 deficit so I can continue to download more information for you, not only uh, uh, concerning autism, but I'm now on the main page of YouTube, so now you can see all other types of videos that I have available for you today. Again, thank you so much. You can always call for a reading. Of course, I'm still doing tarot, two eight one six nine zero eight eight two five, and I hope this helps somebody. Now, if I can close this, I am lucky.